hello guys welcome back so today we will be understanding about the binary search okay so today in today's video we'll first understand like what is binary search how it works okay and then in the next video we'll jump into the problem statement or an equation related to binary search right so in this video just focus on understanding binary search first and then we can practice it in the next video right so what is binary search binary search is basically a searching algorithm which is like a sort of a faster searching algorithm and it is use, used to basically uh, to search a sorted array right it can only be used in the sorted arrays that is the first point you have to keep in mind second point it uses divide and conquer programming pattern internally as i've already mentioned programming patterns we can use along with the searching algorithm sorting algorithms and the data structures right so here uh, like the binary search uses the divide and conquer programming pattern right why it uses that because it never checks for each element in the array one by one right in case you have a huge array and you want to search some element okay it takes the first element last element and the middle element okay and if it checks it checks like whether the element which you are searching is in the first half or in the second half if it is in the first half then it will eliminate the second half completely okay so it reduces the size of the array by half almost half every time on every step okay so that is why it is the fastest uh, uh, searching algorithm okay so yeah let's understand few definitions of it like it has some points here like fastest form of searching algorithms okay and it can be used for sorted arrays this is the point you have to keep in mind if it is an unsorted array then you cannot use binary search for that you can go with the linear search that will be the best option in that case right so the third point is the searching technique follows div divide and conquer strategy right so this is what i have already mentioned like it internally uses the like divide and conquer programming pattern so we will see that in a minute okay the uh, the search space always reduces the half of half in every iteration right this is what i have already mentioned like it reduces the size of the array by half on every iteration right so let's try to visualize this and then i have few examples here then we'll try to understand with the help of these examples right so here uh, we have a sorted array with seven numbers right and let's say you want to search for four okay so let me quickly take this one out so you want to search for four how you will search it with the help of divide and conquer let's say you have implemented the binary search okay so what you will do you will add a start point okay and then you will add an end point okay and then you will add a middle point so in this case i think the middle point will be this one right so here you you will see like the middle point itself is matching the number which you are searching right so you will return the element right away okay so now let's try to find another number let's say i want to find 3 or 5 or something let's try with 5 okay now uh here you have the starting point as 1 ending point as 7 and the middle point is seven, uh, 4 okay now you will see if 5 is greater than 4 or smaller than 4 if it is greater than 4 okay then you will completely eliminate this first half of the array right now your starting point will be this one ending point will be this one wait i'm not able to move it yeah starting point will be this one ending point will be this one and then middle point will be this one okay now again since you have eliminated this whole array let me quickly delete it i'm not sure if i can delete it all together or not okay so let's just move it for a minute here okay so you have eliminated all these numbers okay right now you have um, just give me a second guys okay so right now you have uh, this this array right in the second iteration, as you can see, our array got reduced by half already, right? So in this array, we have this midpoint. We will check if the midpoint is matching with this number. No. If it is smaller than the number which you are trying to search, yes. 
so we will ignore this part right and as you can see it is matching with the starting number itself since we have just three elements and this number is matching with the starting number so we will return that number right away okay so this is how we use divide and conquer to search the uh, elements in the array okay with the help of binary search okay so let's see another few examples so i have an array of few names few random names okay so here i think number example we have already seen right so here let's say you want to search for ev okay so let me write it here search name is ev okay how you will search it you will add a start point start will be people at position 0 and then end will be people name at position length minus 1 sorry guys length minus 1 right so this way you have added a starting index the ending index and then let's pick a midpoint so let's pick 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so here the midpoint will be peoples at position 5 okay so which is basically 0 1 2 3 4 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 i think it's 10 10 numbers right it's 10 or 11 let's let's check the length quickly i'm not sure actually okay so let's check the length of it okay it's just 10 elements right so what we can do uh, 0 1 2 3 4 I think it will be 4 then the midpoint will be 4 right now our starting starting index is Alice okay let's keep it simple let's store the names directly ending index is Jack okay so here what we are doing it should be end right yeah and mid is mid will be this one okay now what we have to see we have to check for ev right so since it is an sorted array of uh, like uh, alphabets right uh, characters words right so they are sorted based on their uh, first character right or they are sorted based on their alphabets right so it is from a to j right so since we have the uh, midpoint as e okay so we will see if i will come before e or after e if it comes before e then we will pick this part if it comes after e then we will pick this part right since it is coming after since it is coming after e so we will pick this part right so our new array in the second iteration is gonna be this thing okay so let me just paste it here okay as you can see in the second iteration itself our array got reduced by half okay now again our starting point is going to be this one okay and is gonna be this one right and mid is gonna be hang right so now again we will check if the term which we are trying to search which is this one okay so i'll comment it for now yeah if the term which you are trying to search it is ev right so if it is greater than hank or it is greater or uh, smaller than hank okay or in simple words we can say if it comes before h or after h right so it comes after h right because after h only i comes right so again we are going to eliminate this particular these two elements right okay and then our new array is gonna be this one okay so here now again if i do the midpoint start point and end point it will be something like this okay 
so starting point is gonna be this okay end point is gonna be jack and then the midpoint is gonna be ev okay now again here if you try to search like uh, the element in uh, like the name which you're trying to search here the starting point is this one ending point is this one and midpoint is this one okay so since the midpoint the mid number or the mid element itself is matching with the search name so we will return this particular number right away okay those this particular number right away okay so this is how like uh, as you can see in the three iterations itself okay let's say you are running it in the for loop so in the first iteration in the for loop we have this whole array in the second iteration in the for loop it got reduced by half we just have one two three five elements right in the third array of the for loop we have just three elements left in which the midpoint itself is ev which we are trying to search right so this way on every iteration the array size is almost reducing by half okay so just try to think like if you want to search it with the linear linear search right so what will happen you will check if the first element is ev no you will move on to the next element if it is ev no then you will move on to the next element if it is ev no and you have to go all the way up till here right to find the element so as you can see by explaining itself it sounds like it is a slow process right because you have to go through every element one after another in order to find the element which you are trying to search right so that is why if you have a sorted array then obviously you should go ahead and use the binary search right in case of unsorted array we can make use of linear search but in this case if you have a sorted array you can obviously go ahead and use the uh, binary search right so i hope these few examples uh, made it clear for you guys to understand like what binary search is and how we use it how it works internally okay so in next lecture let's quickly uh, see a question and then let's see how we can solve it okay so this is it for today see you in the next one